guys how you doing guys Dave Worsh here uh, today we're going to review the uh, the Jola radius uh, pickleball paddle uh, right here and I was playing with it for about two weeks now and I want to give you a good review uh, about what I feel uh, about this paddle and uh, to tell you a little bit I won't get into technical stuff uh, but it is a Jola it's a radius uh, carbon grip surface it has a shorter grip so it's going to be a little harder to do a two-handed backhand if you uh, if you're looking for a two-handed paddle because uh, the, the handle's shorter uh, but it is wider it is wide and uh, it's got almost like the same surface of uh, the Ben John's um, uh, what do you call it pro uh, you get a lot of spin on this paddle uh, that I noticed and uh, it's a 16 millimeter. I think the ounces on is a 7, uh, 7.6 ounces. Uh, it's not a super heavy paddle. Uh, it's probably a better paddle if you're a little bit older uh, because what happened, a lot of the weight is in the handle. And uh, so this paddle here, when I played with it, I noticed you can, if somebody fires a ball right at you, you can get this paddle up immediately it's really quick up here if you're playing up at the net and you're you know you're trying to swat uh, balls that are coming at you with uh, the Ben Johns Pro it was heavier and it took me a little more time to to get uh, the ball to put it away but this thing is really it's really light uh, for wrist action so if you're looking for a lighter paddle uh, for the front court this is definitely a good paddle Right, so the the Jola radius uh, paddle is, uh, is I played with it. It's it's uh, it's for people who um, don't hit the ball hard, uh, more three five, more lower. I think more lower level players. If you like to do touch shots, uh, this is more of a touch shot. If you're more of a power player, you like to hit the ball hard. Uh, this is definitely not the paddle. Also, um, uh, the sweet spot is is with the tap test. Uh, it's not bad. There's you know barely a little bit of deadness around the edges, uh, but when I played with it, it seemed it uh, seemed okay. It was it was kind of fun to actually play with it up at the net, and then I said, well, uh, I was pretty quick snapping them but you can't really hit the ball really really hard you hit it hard but not really really hard but uh, i'm gonna hit some against the wall we're gonna go try to find out uh if uh, the little dead spots or anything different so this paddle up here it's it's really quick it's re reflexes it's a really quick uh, paddle for you know, getting your getting uh, quick uh, reflex shots back, but it is kind of dead. And I did notice that there is some dead spots. That's the only problem when you you buy a paddle that's wide. It it's uh, it has a lot of dead spots on the uh, on the edge of this paddle. So. Uh, for touch shots, it's good. You know, the the touch, the touch is good. Uh, one of my friends plays with this. This is his paddle. He let me borrow. Uh, I figure I'd play with it and uh, do a little review. So, uh, if you're looking for, if you're kind of a like a beginner, uh, this would be a good paddle if you're a beginner because uh, you got a bigger hitting surface on it, and uh, it is quick uh, for reactions. And stuff but as you advance I think you'd have to get more of a uh, you know like for me I'm more advanced so I would use the uh, 16 millimeter this is 16 millimeters and uh, I would use the the pro uh, the Ben Johns pro uh, Hyperion uh, series and uh, but this is a good 
paddle for big uh, shots, see how uh, it hangs out, if it's solid enough to hit some good uh, deep shots. Here we go. Okay, my deep court review on the radius Jola, it wasn't too good. Uh, I did miss quite a minute, uh, quite a few balls. I really didn't have that much control over this paddle in the deep court. Didn't have, it didn't really have any power. Uh, even if I tried to whip it uh, with my wrist, uh, it was definitely a weaker paddle in the, in the back court. This, if you do, you better run up to the front of the court because.